and welcome everybody to this first episode of The Sinking City. This is a detective game set in a world inspired by the works of H.P. Lovecraft, which is one of my favorite horror writers. So we're gonna go to some... Okay, so considering this is the first time I'm going to be playing this, I'm going to have it set to a difficulty that will help me understand this a little bit. But we will see how this goes. Let's begin. <laughs> it feels like the sounds a bit. Off. <laughs> oh, cool, not a body experience. is this fever dream? I knew this would be Lovecraftian, but I didn't think this would be such a mindfuck so quick. So just keep in mind in this cutscene it seems that the audio is about four to five seconds behind on the visuals. Gonna see if I can get, can actually fix that, but... This is a strange fucking fever dream. Okay, so... Mind Provost, this is where we... Okay, this book... Okay. So we don't have anything yet, so... Okay, so that will be read early on. No, I want to take. How how does I? Trust a tourist advertisement. Okay, so let's see settings controls. to use it but something tells me I will ah there we go so apparently there's also a crafting mechanic in this game this is going to be interesting now get out Jesus sure what the fuck at last 
Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I okay, so the audio problem seems to be solved. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where That's a Dutchman. Johannes? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. Reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Reed. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. Tell me more. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks. And the water has risen ever higher without the sea. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the Atmosphere, you know. You said you know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter. You are such a shifty character. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to stand out from the crowd. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds. Charming. Yeah. <laughs> Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Uh, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Good places. What? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper, places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular, its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like minded intelligentsia. Gathering seeds of thought, like moths drawn to a flame. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. Well, that's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go. How can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. You are such a shifty figure. But I have to say, this place does look rather beautiful. Okay, so let's see the map. Carolyn. That's such a shifty name as well, though, because the Karen, that's the name of the ferryman that leads people over the river Styx in Greek mythology. Um, what now? The end is nigh. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is sowed. Okay, then. 
we haven't been in the game for less than 10 minutes in total and we've already met the first phrase oh you look fancy i don't care about your petty excuses no one leaves the port until my son is found and that is fine uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me are you robert throgmorton i am but not interested go away my name's charles reed i'm a private investigator just arrived from boston i was told you might be able to help me Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you? My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth, a ridden city, will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. Now, those filthy migrants occupy half this damned city. Port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera. You have a point, newcomer. Sorry, did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Dave, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, <coughs> my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. Was standing right in front of it. You mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it.
One plus. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. I've said everything I know. Dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Okay, hold on. Let's see controls. the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, oh my what? Yeah. what? It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh. I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thog Morton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. And he started to make these horrible sounds, and okay, my head began to burst, and he woke up, and after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams, drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me, ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will, Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so I started fishing. And that'll starve. Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Kay be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. Do you know how Paul died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. May he have mercy on his soul. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir, tell me the... I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream.
Choo choo. <clears throat> Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Oh, what the f- Take this, ape face. This is real funky. This is a really interesting mechanic though. Like Fisherman and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Oh, what the? So this is where we link things together. Yes. Tracking using my supernatural sense. Okay, spoke. Yeah. 
I'm a not question this. So the fisherman pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. I don't know who that doctor guy is, but I wish he'd fuck off out of my head. Okay, so even though Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Okay, this really feels like my mind is just shattering right out of. Oh, stop that. Stop that right now. This shit actually makes you feel like your mind is just going places. <laughs> what the hell? The door won't budge. So that's the map, but no, god damn it. The door won't budge. So there has to be something. It's a combination lock that has to be. Okay, so I'm gonna just go up here. Okay. okay, I guess I'm not going up there. is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. This is some trippy shit. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to the casebook.
much. Yeah, Jesus, they weren't kidding when they when they said no hand holding. Fuck yeah. me. Okay, so hold on. What? What the fuck are you? So I no fuck those noses. Oh, stop that. Quick scan, okay, fuck this. Oh, what? One fatal round through the forehead. Oh, okay, so. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Yeah, no, we're getting the fuck out of here because our mind is starting to go from this place. Jesus. Okay, where is the bar? Down ship. I don't know what that was, but I don't want it alive or anywhere near me. Oh. Yeah. Hey, got a spare bullet, fella? 
I ain't eaten in days. You look familiar, but old Billy hasn't seen you around. Stay alert! Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. No, oh, I'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. Robert Throgmorton hired me to investigate his son's disappearance. I found the note about your debt to Lewis near his cold, dead body. It looks like Lewis murdered Robert's kid. You want him to come here and ask instead of me? What? Don't want me. At best, you're harboring a criminal. At worst, you're an accessory to murder. I... What? No. I... <laughs> Just playing it hard immediately. <laughs> No. Throck. Lewis is upstairs. Here's the key. Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. I've seen some unsettling creatures around. Like nothing I've ever encountered. Yeah, no shit. What are they? <laughs> Fuck. So you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are. But consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea. Others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Keep your gun handy. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, better to be a coward and live than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. Bye. What the? Get them! Oh. <laughs> that was just funny to me. Ooh, just bored. Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Throg, that darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. Start at the beginning. What happened? We... We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Barry'd gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. Mm-hmm. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall, after... Is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood? I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. <laughs> Turns out I was right. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. 
We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throg Mortons in their high castle only made our life harder, always conspiring behind our backs, always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? <laughs> so you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition, reputation. The head honchos of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And, let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. <gasps> now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reeve. Don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest, have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. You think you're the first person to offer me a bribe? Please, Mr. Reed. Uh, don't try my patience further, Mr. Flynn. <sighs> Considering his hatred for the family. Kersberg. Why the fuck are there change chains on the wall in this room? Yeah, see, just because of that, that makes this shit even more fishy. Pardon the pun, but... Let's go and tell Mr. Throckmorton what we know. I hate the truck mortons. The kid fled and he still pursued. So Mr. Throg Morton, I'm afraid I have bad news. No. Yeah. I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. Cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. I've tracked down your son's murderer. Where? Who is he? I'm not going to lie to this guy. Come on, he already lost his son. The Innsmouth of Lewis is responsible for your son's murder. He's hiding at the local bar. Just ask the bartender. Seems like he had a bone to pick with your family. Oh, that scum won't be getting off easy. The whole city shall see what happens when you cross the Throgmortons. Justice, bittersweet as it is, shall be served. It's rare for a newcomer to make himself so useful. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes. You've earned it. Okay, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? I... I think I'm going mad, Mr. Throckmorton. I see things, visions, and I needed to stop. I was drawn here, or guided, or... But I believe the source of this madness is here, in Oakmont. 
not. They're not wrong, Mr. Reed. An inexplicable hysteria spread through Oakmalt after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness have the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the flood, many oak monsters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. A sleeping giants, drowned streets, and a voice calling from the depths. Her words exactly. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. You mentioned the flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened? Defied scientific explanation. Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? Well, Do you think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear. Do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Thorpe Morton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and Albert. When you've finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, You've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. Interesting. Now... Got our uh, to the. How do we get? The oh, hold on, need to go back and into the alley down there. So we're gonna go to the hotel. And then. We will end the video there. Oh, come on. Oh, that's him. Please tell me I'm not gonna have a fucking fever dream again. Am I in fever dream it is? Explain to me what the fuck just happened. Wow. 
What the fuck? Okay. I did not see that coming. <laughs> what the fuck is this fever dream of a game? What the hell? I am so utterly confused. This game's going to be confusing as hell, I can already tell, and I'm already loving it. Good, so we can auto save, or manual save at least. Man eating eel, what the? Excuse me? Garfield said. Okay, so... We have now finished this. We're going to save here. Garfield said woof. Oh god damn it. Alright, so I'm assuming we are now Yeah, we're at the Devil's Reeve Hotel, so we're going to save here and then in the next episode we will start exploring the town a bit more and begin Uncovering what the hell is going on in this place. All right. I hope you all enjoyed this first episode. And I hope to see you all when we continue this fever dream. See ya.